Hello everyone, it's Christine here and I'm back for our stitch along and we are going to be doing a stem stitch ribbon rose. So I'm going to be working up the top here. You might see some little um, pin pricks or needle pricks in there because I tried to follow the instructions in the book the first time around and it just was not looking right. But now I've spent a bit of time figuring it out for myself um, and that way I'll be able to make it nice and easy for you. So I'm going to start by coming through um, and I'm using just two different colours. I'm going to use this, um, which isn't a silk ribbon, um, but it's a braid for the inner, which is a darker yellow. And then I'm going to use a pale yellow for the rest of the rows. In the book, it says to use three shades of two millimetre silk ribbon with the darkest in the centre, the medium in the middle and the lightest on the outside. So I'll tell you in the instructions when you'd be changing between each of those colours, but I'm just going to use two. Um, and use this braid for the centre. So we're going to come through and do a French knot. Um, it, in the book it doesn't say how many wraps but I'm going to do I think two wraps just so, or maybe three wraps actually because this is a bit finer. And then pop back through to the, the back. There's our little rosebud for the centre. So I will tie that off then at the back. slightly pulled my little knot at the back but that's okay we'll just anchor it all down anyway like that and we've got our little rosebud there then I've got my silk ribbon and hopefully this will be enough to to see us through for the piece but if not I can always re-thread so this would be the stage you're changing to your medium color of silk ribbon if you're using all three so here's where we do the weird rotating stuff where the instructions sometimes don't help that much. So I'm going to pop out quite close to where my little rosebud is, um, near the top and just to the left of the rosebud. And then I'm going to take my needle in just below the rosebud, um, at the bottom right, if that makes sense, and take my needle back through um, with the, the ribbon underneath. So I'm putting a little cross stitch across, well, a little stitch across the bottom rather than a cross stitch per se. And you'll pull that a little bit, but leave it nice and loose as well. So I'll just loosen it out a bit. And so you can see you've got a little moon shape with the ribbon sitting over the top. Then I'm going to go up to the top of my rosebud, just to the top right. Um, and bring a stitch back down close to where my other stitch was and keep the ribbon underneath and that will make another little loop and then I'm going to just keep moving around this is where the book has really strange instructions but I'm just going to keep doing it this way so I'm going to take um, a stitch over here bring it back to where the last stitch was like that and then I'm going to come around here and work a final stitch overlapping partially with the, the last one and coming back close to where the last stitch was and letting that come around and I'm just going to position them a little bit so that the row, the nice little rosebud in the center is still visible. Stretch them out a little bit. And now would be the stage that you change um, to your next color. So if you were doing that, you'd go to the back here and um, come um, back out, which I guess I probably still need to do so we can then come out in the correct place. So the book's then telling us to start on this side, over here, about there, and to put a stitch, let me just un untangle wangle my, my ribbon, and it's saying to put a stitch across here and pop out just sort of at the bottom to create another 
another loop and then it's saying we turn this way and we then work a stitch actually I'll just keep going the way that I was so then come around here and work a stitch back this direction a stitch back this direction and hopefully we're going to have enough I'll come around here work a stitch this direction so always sort of heading back to where your previous little moon shape was and then I'll work a final stitch part way just overlapping a little bit then back to back to near that point where we were trying not to skewer the ribbon that's getting a bit tricky because it's in the hoop and just trying to not unthread my needle which I've just done but hopefully I'll be able to get my my ribbon through to the back that would be great I think I'll just need to trim slightly Rethread. And I'll just pull that through and then we'll just use our needle just to position I just want to get my little rose and there you go that is our little uh, rose bud that one's sitting up just a smidge too much did I not anchor that down properly or is it just it's possibly just a bit looser I might actually if I pull around one of the latter ones oh that's better so if you've got one that's a bit loose sometimes it's because maybe that last stitched one just got a bit too tight Having to use that out a bit, use that down, and there we go. A sweet little a ribbon rose with little overlapping overlapping petals. So yeah, very sweet, and it'd be great to see if you've um, yeah if you do one in three colours. Um, be sure to post it in our little Facebook group and we can share all our pictures but yeah really happy with how this little stem stitch piece has turned out and we'll be moving on to straight stitch but straight overcast stitch and some other variations actually I think straight stitch flower straight stitch raised and then we'll be going on to stump work so lots of fun still to come um, but we are heading towards the end of the book which is very exciting um, thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.